Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to share my best practice tips so that you can remain productive when you upgrade to Excel 2007. When you upgrade to Excel 2007 from an earlier version of the program, for example from Excel 2003, two things are going to happen. Number one, initially you are going to be shocked. I know I was. While commands look familiar, I just didn't know which, where to click to get those commands that I needed when I needed it. Which brings up point number two. You will initially take a hit to your productivity. It will take a period of adjustment to realize which tab on the ribbon contains the command that you are looking for. And that's my purpose in this lesson, is to minimize your shock and to minimize the period of adjustment when you upgrade to Excel 2007. All right, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here I have two screenshots. The screenshot on the left is of the new ribbon interface in Excel 2007. The commands are familiar and they certainly are bigger and brighter, but understanding which tab on the ribbon contains the command that you're looking for will take a period of adjustment. I'm going to share my best practices for minimizing that period of adjustment. Over here, the screenshot on the right is the familiar Excel 2003 with the familiar drop-down menus and toolbars. In this case, I have the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar on two rows in Excel 2003. Now, the first area of complaint that I get from people who are upgrading to Excel 2007 is, Danny, I don't know where to go to save my work. I don't know where to go to open up a brand new document or an existing document. How do I get in to print my document? So the familiar commands that we have for opening up a brand new document, an existing document, saving a document, and printing a document, we're familiar with finding them either on the standard toolbar or on the file menu. In Excel 2007 you will find all of those commands over here on this mysterious office button. So let's switch back here to a live version of Excel 2007 and if you click this mysterious button in the upper left corner it's called the office button. So here is where you go when you want to open up a brand new Excel document open up an existing document, save the current document, save the current document to a different location, a different file type, or with a different name, to print or to print preview your document, as well as some other commands including closing the document, and as you will learn later on in the lesson, this is where you go when you want to open up the uh, tools for uh, customizing Excel, the options tools. All right. Now, let me come over and show you another complaint that I get from viewers who were upgrading to Excel 2007 from Excel 2003. They say, you know, the ribbon is great, but look how much space it takes up. Well, yes, indeed it does. In its default setting, the ribbon does take up considerably more space. And also notice that the rows in Excel 2007 are considerably taller than what we find in Excel 2003. The font size is different. The default font size in Excel 2003 is 10 point. The default font size in Excel 2007 is 11. And also the font, uh, font, uh, font family is different. Calibri versus Ariel. Now let me show you another side-by-side -side comparison. Here I have Excel 2007. Here I have Excel 2003. But in this screenshot I've minimized the ribbon. I'm going to demonstrate how you can minimize the ribbon and in this comparison you can see that in Excel 2007 when we minimize the ribbon it takes up considerably less space than the default setting for Excel 2003. Alright, let's dig in. Let's take a look at the ribbon with its seven tabs as well as the office button. As I mentioned a few minutes ago, coming over here to this mysterious office button, this is the replacement for our familiar file menu. This is where we want to go when we want to perform operations on the files that we're working on 
or wish to work on. It's also where we go when we want to customize Excel by changing the options. And notice over here that we have different tabs for how we want to work inside Excel. We also have, by default, seven different tabs. The Home tab, the Insert tab, page layout and notice that as I click on each tab it opens up a different set of commands which are organized around a workflow. Now the workflow that Excel has for the tabs may not initially match your workflow so it will take a bit of time to get familiar with it. Now let's take a closer look at the commands on each of the tabs on the ribbon. Do you notice that they are grouped? So over here, for example, on the Home tab of the ribbon, we have groups of commands in the Clipboard group, in the Font group, in the Alignment group, in the Number group, the Styles group, the Cells group, and the Editing group. Now, this is really, it's a nice way of organizing the commands. And it, it, I feel, as I've gotten familiar with, as I've gotten very comfortable with Excel 2007, it's much more intuitive. And it also opens up many more options, which were hidden several layers deep in the old menu structure in Excel 2003. Now, what I want to point out are the differences in the commands. First off, look over here in certain of the groups. Not everyone, but in certain of the groups, do you notice this little right-facing arrow, this drop-down arrow over here on the right, in the corner right? This is what's called a dialog box launcher. Now, that looks very familiar to you in Excel 2003 when you want to format your cells. So let me switch over to a version of Excel 2003 that I have over here. So when we went in to format the cells, then we had that dialog box with the different tabs. So when you want to open up that familiar dialog box in Excel 2007, all you have to do on the home tab of the ribbon is just click any one of these launchers. So in this case, it's opening up the tab for the font commands. If I were to click this over here in the number group, then it opens up that same dialog box, but with the number tab activated. So that really is very comforting to people when I show them that many of the dialog boxes that they've been familiar with are available. I also want you to pay attention to the different types of commands. So, for example, over here, clicking on the bold command, it does one action. It either applies bold or it removes bold formatting. Take a look over here at this command for paste. Do you notice this drop-down arrow? Well, that opens up a menu selection. So, for some different options that we have when we paste. Here's another command with a drop-down menu for inserting. Well, what do we want to insert? Cells, sheet rows, sheet columns, or insert a brand new worksheet. So be on the lookout for the different types of commands as well as for the groups of commands. Did you realize that you can minimize the ribbon? I showed you the screenshot over here with the ribbon minimized. Now, how do you actually do it? Well, there are several ways to do it. One way is to just simply double click any one of the tabs on the ribbon and now it's minimized. So when we click on a cell and we need to have that activated, all we have to do is come over here and click on the tab of the ribbon that we wish to work with. So for example, if I wanted to make this bold, I would have that available. Immediately it becomes minimized. If I want to bring it back, if I want to restore it to its default setting, one way to do that is to just double click. Now, another command that we can use is the uh, Quick Access Toolbar. So while in Excel 2003, we have multiple toolbars. And honestly, I found that most people did not realize that there were multiple toolbars. They did not realize that there were all these other toolbars. So it's really not a complaint. What we can do is we can learn how to customize the one toolbar that we have in Excel 2007 which is called the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, by default, it's installed to the right of the Office button in the upper left column with the Save command, the Undo, and the Redo command. Now, if you click over here to the menu, 
Now what we can do, and this is my first best practice, is show your quick access toolbar below the ribbon. So now the quick access toolbar has been uh, uh, moved to show below the ribbon. It's much closer to your working area and it also allows you to add additional commands. So you can add as many commands as you wish. Now one way to do that is to click the drop down menu and here are the most popular commands. So for example, if you want print preview, all you have to do is click and now the print preview command has been added to the quick access toolbar. Now that's adding commands one at a time. Another way that you can add a command, and I strongly recommend this when you're first starting out, is that if you see, for example, pivot tables and you say, oh my God, pivot tables used to be on the data menu. Now they're on this insert menu. I use pivot tables all the time. How am I going to remember that they're on the insert tab? So anytime you see a command that you want to use frequently, all you have to do is just right mouse click and say, add it to the quick access toolbar. So now I have the insert pivot table command available on the quick access toolbar. What I strongly recommend is that instead of adding individual commands, for example, the format paintbrush, right mouse click and say add to the quick access toolbar, what I suggest that you do is add entire groups. So in this case, I want to add the entire group of editing commands to the quick access toolbar. So now instead of right mouse clicking any one of the individual commands, when I right mouse click on the command group itself, I can add that to the quick access toolbar. So now I get a menu for all of those commands from the group. A third way to customize your quick access toolbar is to use the drop down menu over here. And when you click on the more commands, it takes you over to the Excel options customize tab. Over here, you see all of these commands that you can add to your quick access toolbar. So for example, if you want to be able to email the document that you've just finished working on, just highlight it over here in the left grouping and click add to the quick access toolbar. You can also move it up or move it down in how it appears on the quick access toolbar. The important thing to remember over here is that there are filters for looking at commands, including this one commands that you will just not find in the ribbon for various reasons. So if you've been comfortable, if you've been using a certain command and you just cannot find it, well here is a list of all the commands that you will never find on the ribbon. And again, all you have to do is just come over here and highlight the command that you wish to add to the quick access toolbar and then click add to it. Now, I'm going to create a separate video lesson where I'm going to go into greater detail on how you can customize your quick access toolbar, including customizing the quick access toolbar in Excel 2007 workbook by workbook. But that's a brief introduction to how you can customize the quick access toolbar. Find any command that you wish to add, for example, conditional formatting, right mouse click and say add to the quick access toolbar. When you want to remove it, just come over to the quick access toolbar and say remove. But what I really recommend is that you right mouse click on the name of the command group. So in this case, I'm going to add the entire styles group of commands to the quick access toolbar. So now when I click over here, I have that group of commands available for me anytime that I wish. Another way that we can bring up the most popular commands is to take advantage of what's called the mini toolbar. This is brand new in Excel 2007. So anytime that we right mouse click, and let me come up here a little higher, I'll right mouse click. In addition to the familiar contextual shortcut menu of commands, here's the mini toolbar. So the most popular formatting commands are always available when we right mouse click in a cell. The mini toolbar allows us to change the font group, the font size, as well as these popular commands. Now that's a whirlwind tour of uh, the, the, the adjustments for how to uh, actually speed up your productivity to get over that initial hump when you upgrade to Excel 2007. If you want to explore these techniques in greater detail as well as others, I have the best 
selling uh, DVD on the market, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. So some of the tips I've just shared with you here are in the getting started in Excel 2007 at the beginner's level. And as I mentioned, I'm going to create a separate uh, video where I cover many of the tips that I, I cover in this lesson, customizing the quick access toolbar. So send me your questions, send me your comments, really learning how to get over that shock and learning how to become more productive more quickly in Excel 2007 is the goal of this lesson. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.